Chapter 10, a very long day. That was right, it was a long day. The rain that had been threatening came, and after they ate lunch, the students pulled out rain gear to splash in the puddles. Bat did not like to get wet. He didn't like it at all. It made his clothes feel sticky and itchy and uncomfortable. Mr. Grayson knew that Bat didn't like to get wet. So even though the saw weight school's philosophy said the students should go outside, rain or shine or snow, he asked Bat, would you like to spend recess helping me clean out baby cake's enclosure? Yes, said Bat. Mr. Grayson got a trash bag and Bat scooted the old straw into it. Then they laid out a fresh batch of straw. It smelled like summertime and sunshine. Baby cakes hopped, hopped over to the straw and sniffed it. She looks happy, Mr. Grayson said. She looks exactly the same as she always does, Bat answered. Mr. Grayson laughed. Grown-ups were always laughing at things that Bat didn't think were funny. It didn't bother Bat very much when Mr. Grayson did it. Julio, a fourth grader, who everyone said was a natural athlete, came into the classroom. Mr. Grayson, he said, Principal Martinez wants to know if you're still going to teach yoga. Sure, sure. Mr. Grayson said, tell her I'm all ready to start. Then he said, Julio, I think you've grown a foot since the last time I saw you. Julio shrugged. Not that much, he said, but I've grown an inch since winter break. I'm not surprised, Mr. Grayson said. That was three months ago. Bat thought about time as he followed Mr. Grayson to the yoga room and as he sat on his mat in the butterfly pose. Three months, he guessed. Could be a little bit of time or a really long time, depending on who you were. For instance, a monarch butterfly born in the summer lives only about six weeks. So four months would feel like forever. But a monarch butterfly born in the winter might live for eight months. So four months would just be half of its life. And if you were a boy with a skunk kit that you were only allowed to keep for one month, well, time sure passed much, much too quickly. Bat considered telling Mr. Grayson about the life cycle of the monarch butterfly, but the teacher was busy unlacing his orange high tops and getting ready to lead the group yoga. He decided he would talk about monarch butterflies with Mr. Grayson later. But the right later never happened. After yoga, they went back to the third grade room for reading circle. After reading circle, they worked on their volcano projects, which Bat had not been looking forward to. Groups of four kids had to work together to build a volcano. Mr. Grayson called it collaborative art. Bat did not like collaboration. He liked to do things himself. That way, if something didn't turn out the way that he wanted it to, there was no one else to be mad at. And if he wanted to take it apart and start over, no one could tell him not to. But Mr. Grayson wouldn't let Bat be a group of one. The problem was that no one else in his group seemed to care as much as Bat did. Three times before 2.45, when class was finally over for the day, Bat's group said, Mr. Grayson, Bat won't let us help. I don't need help, Bat told Jenny when he complained for the second time. It's a group project, she said. You have to let us help. Israel, who was in Bat's group, kept asking him all kinds of annoying questions like, Hey Bat, do you think the lava is red enough? And Bat, can you pass me the paste? Bat ignored the lava question, but about the paste he said, Glue works better than the paste. The paste gets all weird and flaky when it dries. Okay, said Israel. Pass me the glue then. I'm using the glue, Bat said. Things would go much more smoothly, Bat thought, if the other kids would stop asking questions and interfering and just let him get on with the job. By the time Miss Kiko rang the end of the day bell from the hallway, Bat's left eye felt twitchy. All he wanted to do was climb into mom's car and go home to his own room. When he walked outside, he didn't see mom's burgundy station wagon. Instead, he saw dad's yellow sports car and he remembered with a heavy sigh that today was in every other Friday, and he wouldn't get to go to his own room or the baby kit for three long days. 
If Bat were a mayfly, he wouldn't even live that long.